Привет, товарищи! Welcome to Mamers to Sky. Today I'm going to show you how to make a saline solution. This solution is very easy to make, so please don't get discouraged and think that you cannot do this at home. This is very simple. Saline solutions are typically found in hospitals, pharmacies, and most of your major stores. This version that we're going to be making today is going to be isotonic or all that means is basically uh, the fluid mixture is very similar to your own body fluids so it doesn't shock or kill anything in your body but in, in fact it actually helps so uh, whenever you're using this to clean up wounds all it does is cleans then it discourages bacteria growth in those wounds all right let me show you how it's made now the only thing needed to make this simple saline solution is to simply take one teaspoon of salt and a metric that's five milliliters and we're going to dump it this is one cup or 250 milliliters metric we just want to take a spoon if you look at it and you see that it's slightly opaque like this then you know that you've done this correctly it, now remember it always helps to have warm water because the, the salt more easily dissolves in that warm water but you can do it in uh, room temperature or even cold water if you had to but this is exactly what you want to do there you have it, do you see how simple that was to make? now for best results use distilled water and use unidized salt which basically means there is no iodine in that salt also another very cool fact about this is that you can use this as a oral disinfectant so you can use this as a mouthwash you know, if times get hard, you can afford actual mouthwash. You can uh, make this and use it. Now, or if you're in the field, uh, and what's awesome, all you need is just some salt. You don't even need to carry all this pre-mixed. You just carry some salt, add water in the field, and you you got it. Um, now, keep in mind, as far as to keep it sterile, um, you only have a short period of time. Even if you're using a stored container. I hope you found this video educational. Go ahead and like comment and share, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, I'll enjoy seeing you next time.